hi everyone we are going to do a reading and see what's coming through oh my gosh on my on my thing it's 111 which is 1311 so um i have the uh clock let me show you actually so oh i missed it okay well i couldn't show you but it basically is <laughs> on my thing it said 111 um but basically it's uh, 1312 it was actually 1311 which is basically 111 um but yeah depending on the kind of clock you have obviously it shows it differently i just thought i'd mention that like that's so interesting isn't it i've been seeing so many ones and 11s and god knows what you know so uh, let me know actually if any of you have been seeing 1111 or repeating ones um but i think it probably resonates very highly with the reading that we're going to do today i just wanted to mention before i start this is for all star signs if you are here hello and welcome um, we are going to have a look and see what's coming through i hope i can help you um, also you know there's all the information down below as well for personal services there's a tarot readings i offer there's rituals to manifest different areas of your life healing work prayers black magic energy removal and of course there's the intention items as well on my website which have thousands of five star reviews so shop moonlight guidance is the place it's all linked down below there's items for various areas of your life like bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards uh, candles sage bundles teas and yeah it's all there okay so let's have a look and see oh i'm excited i'm excited and i hope you are excited i feel very good about this reading Okay, so I'm going to do clarifying cards for each of the cards that come out. I feel what we're doing here is this is going to be about things that happen in your life, okay? And it's going to, I think we're going to really get some lovely messages here for sure. Absolutely love what I'm seeing so far. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to put them in this kind of order. All right. Get some clarifying cards for the cards. The first one here is home. Okay, many of you are going to have your dream home. Now, your dream home is going to be a place that I feel comforts you, protects you, supports you, and comforts you and gives you so many ideas for your future. There are a lot of things that are hidden. So, this house right now is hidden. Um, I mean, I, I don't feel that you're living in your dream home. That That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting. Now, some of you may think to yourself, but Midnight, I, I like where I'm living. I, I think that what's going to happen in your future is that there is going to be a change that you make in terms of your home, which really fulfills you so much more. I'm not talking like, oh, it's going to be like super fancy. For some of you, it's going to be super fancy, but I'm talking more so in how this home also makes you feel. Of course, it can be fancy. You know, of course it can be nice, but I'm talking more so about your emotions and how it makes you feel. It makes you feel comforted. It makes you feel secure. It makes you feel fulfilled, okay? I'm not talking about the interior of your home. I'm talking about the fact that when I say it's your dream home, yes, it matches the sort of specification you have in your mind of how it looks, but also it makes you feel good, okay? That is what I'm talking about right now. I'm not saying you're not going to live in a fancy home and it's going to be your dream home. I'm just saying that how it makes you feel is going to just uplift you so much. That's going to make it also your dream home. It's not going to be the kind of home that is like super glamorous and amazing to the point where it hurts you. You you deal with pain and trauma in that house constantly or, you know, you feel like it's paranormal and oh gosh, you know, it's going to be your dream home that you feel is your dream home but it's going to make you feel good okay but i just had to clarify that okay <laughs> it really will be a lovely home okay but i just see here that it's going to come in time it's going to come in time the moon here shows that it's going to really uplift you and make you a lot more um open to your psychic abilities it's going to give you amazing ideas for future things that you venture into whether it be new jobs businesses love for example as well this is going to be the home that you spend a lot of your time with in regards to a lover in regards to family in regards to entertaining people and having a really really good time i love this wow okay so next we have got here thought isn't that interesting? I was thinking about ideas, you know, ideas that you implement, ideas, creativity, things that you come up with. That's really interesting. It's re it's in relation to your new home that we're seeing in the future. I think also as well that you will remember this reading when it happens because it's so hard for me just to describe future events that 
you may not even think are going to happen right now, but I guess that's, you know, what I do. But what I see here is that your new home is going to give you so much inspiration and you are going to embark on a lot of these inspirations that you find. So if you have your own business, you know, you might be inspired to add new things into your business, which allows it to grow 10 times further. These particular thoughts come from your new home and it's going to allow you to, you know, feel good. You know, you might be into writing, you might be into designing, you might be into pretty much anything in that sense, you know, very creative and it's going to really unlock so much more of your potential, which you feel right now that you may not even think you have. Does that make sense? As you grow more spiritually, what's going to happen is that you're going to implement a lot of that as well into your future. I hope this makes sense, you know. There you go. Okay, Ten of Cups is about home. It's about family. I mentioned that here as well. Look at that. It's all coming together. And Ten of Cups is about ultimate happiness. You are going to feel really, really happy in your thoughts. You're going to feel happy with a lover. You're going to feel happy with just how life is in general. I think you're going to feel, you know, super, super fulfilled. And look at that. You've got here love. That was one of the cards that came out. Again, I've, I've mentioned it. I've talked about it. You know, I see a happy couple-like energy. I see you feeling fulfilled. I see you feeling just struck by love, you know, and intimacy and passion and just really living your life and feeling so, so content, so incredibly happy and so fulfilled. That's amore. <laughs> wow. So love is absolutely on the cards. Again, you will remember this reading when it happens because right now you might be thinking Moonlight. No, <laughs> it will. It will. And so many of you are very positive as well. You're like Moonlight. Yes, yes, Moonlight. Yes. <laughs> so either, you know, comment down below which bit you're most looking forward to. Okay. That will be like your kind of affirmation. Um, you know, to sort of confirm this reading, to claim it, and also, um, especially if it makes sense for you as well, definitely let me know which bit you're looking forward to um, the most. Star, I see a lot of healing happening here as well, you know, especially you're moving on from the past. They usually say, don't look into the past unless you want to see how far you've come 100%. You are going further into the future. You are growing. You are becoming stronger. You are becoming wiser. You are leaving pain and trauma in the past, but taking on board those lessons to have an even better future. It's exactly what you're doing. And trust me, all of this sort of watery energy that we see here, okay, because, you know, star card is Aquarius, but it's a water bearer. This water is fueling you. It's giving you passion. It's giving you hope. It's giving you ideas. You are going to become so much more courageous, so much stronger, so much more um, powerful, you know? So a lot of you are also going to go through a big healing in regards to love. You're going to feel rejuvenated. There's going to be a rebirth in your love life, um, whether it's, you know, with someone from the past or whether it's a new person. You know, this is actually up to you because the ball is in your court from what I'm seeing, but you are going to have love regardless. And actually you have options. There isn't just one person for every person in life. Um, you know, you can have actually multiple people that you can actually settle down with and have a good life with. It's just, of course, at that time, who you uh, choose as well. Um, so that's the other thing. Yes, there can be people that come in, break your heart, you know, and things like that. But I see that you have multiple like life partner options, which I think is interesting. Strong Aquarius energy when it comes to love, but we have got a lot of water in general. Now we've got the three of pentacles with the um, hope card as well. So in terms of work, especially if you feel that you're struggling with your finances, you don't know if your finances are going to get better. The answer to that is yes, because look, you're going to have your dream home and that's really important. And this dream home isn't just reliant on your partner. So I, I see that you will have the ability to earn really good money to the point where you can also, you know, put money towards it as well. Um, yes, your life partner will be very supportive, okay? They'll be very supportive, very, very generous, but I see you as very hardworking as well, like you want to do something of your own too. And um, I just see, you know, a lot of um, satisfaction of you when you do your work, which I think is really lovely. We've got here room. There's a specific room here, okay, in your future home, which I also see, like there's a lot of feathers here as well. Um, and there is something to do with something purple in your room. Now, it could be a tablecloth, it could be a duvet cover in your future room, but um, there's a future room that I'm picking up on here, which is like your kind of, um, what do you call it? It's like your escape. It's, some, it's a place that you really like. It gives you, you know, a creativity. It really makes you feel very fulfilled. Again, you'll remember this reading when it happens. <laughs> right now, you're probably thinking, what purple thing are you even on about, Moonlight? 
come to me in the future. Come to me in the future and comment on this video if you find it, okay? Save the video, bookmark it, do, <laughs> put it put it somewhere, okay? Put the link of this video somewhere. Um, and then come back to the video and, and let me know in the future, okay? I'll be here. I'll be I'll be here and uh, having a look. <laughs> I mean, there are readings actually from like two years ago on my channel where I've asked questions like this and then I get the answer, you know, these days. That's actually happened. And I'm like, wow, you know, like I, I genuinely want to, I wanted to know. And now, you know, obviously now it's been like two years, people, you know, come and say, oh yeah, moonlight, okay. So we've got the four of wands here and yeah, see, this again is to do with the home. There's a specific room here as well that I'm picking up on and also 11, 11. Okay. We've got the lover. Okay. Which I think these are quite self-explanatory to be honest. We've got here marriage and we've got here melancholy. Okay, so I think the main thing here that is just so powerful and so significant is the fact that marriage is also summed up by the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. We've got here as well the room energy, which is connected to the home. The home is connected to, you know, a foundation. Um, the number four also represents a home, you know, with the four walls. And what I think is really interesting here is that it's clearly showing that your home is going to change your life. I know this sounds a little bit strange, but it's not. In, um, see, the thing is, I'll tell you a story, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna get the story completely right. So I'm hesitating a bit, but there is a very famous Hindu goddess who, as soon as she settled into her home, she found the love of her life. She just started absolutely becoming so much more successful in regards to everything else that she was doing. It's very, very common that when people start to become a lot more stabilized, let's say in their work, in their job, and things like that, that boom, everything else starts to also come together. And the thing here for what I'm seeing for you is when you feel really settled, and I'm not just talking about this home, I'm also talking about where you are right now, you know, home-wise as well. I'm not talking about your dream home. This is something that you will have in the future. But what I'm saying is even right now, as you become to as you are much more settled in terms of where you are in your life right now, everything starts to progress for you and then all of this will fall into place. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, absolutely, we see a lover here. Um, you know, this melancholy energy can feel at times a little down, but I see healing, you know, I see healing happening. We see a marriage between two people. Beautiful union. Patience is a virtue, but it's going to happen, okay? Like you will find love, you will find happiness. Things are absolutely going to progress for you, no doubt about it whatsoever. So this is your reading. Now, of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website, and take care, everyone. Um, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.